welcome back. Okay, so here's the million dollar question. What's the difference between a content creator and an influencer? Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Angel. I'm a social media influencer and content creator sharing behind the business on this channel, which is my second YouTube channel. So if you wanna learn how to become a content creator and influencer and make this a business, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a video. Now, this question, it's a million dollar question. It's, you know, always floating around. What is the difference between a content creator and an influencer? And as you just heard, I call myself both. I'm gonna break down what I feel is the major differences. So let's just start with a content creator, okay? This channel specifically is dedicated to content creators. Content creators pretty much wear many different hats. They know how to do photography, videography, online classes, webinars, graphic design, even merchandising. So content creators wear so many, many, many hats and they have so many tools in their toolbox and toolkit. And many times content creators may not want to be an influencer or may not want to be the face of a brand content creators are behind a lot of things they could be social media managers you know creating content for a brand they could just literally be creators who create videos for brands or photos for brands or graphic design for their brand's pinterest accounts you know content creators it's just a wide range of people and things and it really comes down to again their ability to create and create content now influencers in my opinion have the ability to influence i think to have a career as an influencer you've got to be able to have that power behind that influence to be able to inspire or push someone or encourage or recommend someone to do something, buy something, see something, any of that. So in a sense, if you have that power to be able to influence a person or an audience, your audience begins to grow. Brands see that and brands want to pay you. So influencers get paid to do what they love pretty much. And that's to inspire, to influence. And influencers a lot of times get paid because of that power so when you have a large following that means you have some push you have some power and you inspire people people just like to watch your life or whatever it is that you're putting out whether it's beauty tech it doesn't really matter what niche you're in but people see something and they follow you and so brands pay you to be able to use your audience to influence them. So influencers kind of have that, I guess you can say power to influence and inspire someone in a decision. So everyone that's an influencer is not necessarily a content creator. And you're probably like, how Angela? I don't see it or why. I'm going to tell you. Let's take a great example. Let's just take a celebrity, okay? It can be, any type of celebrity a reality celebrity a tv celebrity a social media celebrity i don't want to name a name but you could say uh beyonce or kim kardashian or any of those type of celebrities the rock also those are you know huge they also have a large social media following so they're also referred to as a influencer because they have a really big influence on social media so they're not only famous they are influencers as well because they have a huge social media following and it can influence and as you know they get paid really big brand deals on social media when they do brand sponsorships now they are influencers they're social media influencers but they don't necessarily know how to create their content and they probably don't necessarily create their content a lot of them have photographers and videographers and editors and social media managers and you know all of these other people and teams and crews to manage their content so they're not content creators they're not sitting down writing a blog post they're not 
shooting their pictures and editing their pictures and writing out their captions and sending it to brands and doing the legwork, the footwork, the tools that you need they're not doing that necessarily and if they are kudos but 90 percent of the time they hire in social media managers to manage their content so in a sense in my view that's the difference between a content creator and an influencer you can be an influencer and not necessarily a content creator you can be a content creator and not necessarily an influencer that's the major difference and you can be both what am i I am both. I create my content. I am a content creator. I'm also an influencer. I get paid my brands to influence my audience. I have that push and that power behind my brand. So you can be one or you can be both, but you don't necessarily have to be both. You can become an influencer just by hiring out everything. And so like the team that these influencers hire, they're content creators, you know? because they're creating the content, they're editing the content, they're shooting the content. So yeah, there you have it. And so this channel I have dedicated to help content creators. It helps influencers too, especially those who are doing their lead work and their footwork. But I want to reach the overarching, which are content creators in total, in general. So I have tons of videos out there teaching you stuff I know I'm gonna continue putting this stuff out there it's up to you whether or not you want to grab it hang on to it learn it and run with it but it'll be out there if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe I also have Academy with some great resources including my 30 tips of social media productivity and marketing be sure to check that out and I also have the ultimate power plan if you are trying to get into this social media world and become a content creator or an influencer, make sure to grab that also. I'll see you guys in my next video.